when you have all these movies and you do not have a DVD player, it is time to rip them using Make MKV. All right, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to make backups of your legally obtained DVDs slash Blu-rays. If you're like most people, you probably don't have a um, DVD player anymore, um, but you might still have one in your computer. And I got some old movies like, you know, Frogs or even Sci-Fi Evasion that I would like to make backup copies of where I can actually watch them digitally and, <clears throat> you know, maybe even put them on my um Flux server for I can, you know, just watch them in the comfort of my living room. So to make the backups, um, you can go to this um, make um, MKVB site. Um, it's just www.makemvb.com. And um, you just download it. <clears throat> and it has um, it for Windows. Um, if you go down here to download your copy now, um, you can change to like Mac OS and different operating systems. So I already have it downloaded and installed. So we have it up here. It just flex your um, you know, Blu-ray information. And all you have to do is end up is take your DVD, place it in your drive, And it just spins up to read the disc. And once it's loaded, you just hit it. And it uh, reads the disc information. And I'll fast forward this portion for you don't have to um, wait for it. Um, but that didn't take any, any long. So normally what you end up doing is you look at this and you'll see the name um, of the movie. Normally you want to grab the biggest file because that's where your movie's at. Um, so we can uncheck the um, lower ones, just check the highest um, file size. Get down, you have like different languages and then the subtitles. And what I end up doing is I'll just select English and I'll just select the um, the lossy um, subtitles because they're clearer and I like them better. Um, but there's no reason to check these other boxes. It adds to the size of your file, takes up hard drive space. And if you're not going to ever use the different subtitles in different language, there's no reason to add to the file size. Um, once you're done, um, you know, I got mine already set to default output folder, but you can change that if you want. Um, and just hit make MKV and hit yes. And it goes ahead and um, burns the, um, the um, video file. And once I get, you know, quick bars and I'll um, speed this section up. That way you guys don't have to, you know, wait for it. All right, so now that we have that um, copied, just hit OK, and, you know, we're done um, burning that movie. So, what we can do is we go to my media file, and um, <clears throat> you can see that we have the um, new frog folder. When I click on it and I <clears throat> have it up there, I can see that the um, movie is um, playing just fine. Grandfather, you know how difficult it is to get those kids away from the pool. 
and um, that's all it takes. Um, so what I'm going to do next is um, I'm probably going to show you my favorite, you know, Buck Rogers, because um, <clears throat> that's going to be like a TV series, and I'll show you how to burn those really quick. And um, all right. Alright, so I went ahead and loaded um, Buck Rogers um, in here since it's a TV series. <clears throat> so what I want to show you is that like normally like for movies we pick the um, largest one, which is like the 6.9 gigabytes um, for this. Um, but since it's a TV series, we're not going to do that because what that is, that's um, both TV shows um, put together, which we don't want. What we want to do is, I know that this particular um, CD only has two shows on it, and it's going to be these 3.3 and 3.6. So same thing. If I go up there, um, I just want to select, make sure the English is selected. English is for the subtitles. I just double check that. And once that's done, um, all you got to end up doing is go ahead and hit um, Save Selected Files says it doesn't exist, it's okay because we're creating it. And we just hit yes, and it's the same process. It's just gonna go through this, and um, and I'll touch base with you guys here um, after this is done. All right, it's complete. So, you know, same thing. It just says copy complete, two titles, hit okay. Um, that's because we <coughs> recorded two TV series. Um, so we look at it and I like to double check my stuff just to make sure that it works. Rogers, I... And same thing. So I know these are good. So when the time comes, I'll just transfer those over to my Plex and then, you know, call it a day. All right. Um, the last thing I want to show you is inside certain um, Blu-ray DVDs, you'll see the um, PGS, which is for their uh, subtitles. <clears throat> uh, a lot of my devices don't support PGS, so I usually uncheck all the um, PGS subtitles, so that way I don't have to worry about it not working on some of my devices. I know it just works on all my devices. Um, my movies play fine. Um, if I don't have the PGS subtitle selected, but if I do, it already um, locks up or crashes. So I normally just leave the PGS off and that way I don't have any um, problems. Now, when you look at audio and stuff for me, um, I like the 5.1 um, sound. Um, I usually uncheck the um, low level sound because, you know, most of my devices will play just fine you know when I select 7.1 or 5.1 sound sound so I just go ahead and do that and I never have any issues on any of my devices and that's you know pretty much how I use the um, make MKV um, software <clears throat> and since I use it all the time um, you know when I buy movies from the bargain bin and everything I um I like it because um, it just easy to use and since it's easy to use and I use the software all the time um, I just went ahead and you know purchase it it's not that much um, pretty much it so have a good day alright um, I did have one alibi though um, if you sit there and um, you know look inside your text you can look in here to see information about it what codex it's using what channel um, every now and then you're going to open up an audio file and it says director's comments um, I don't particularly like listening to the director comments so you know if you have like two like DD stereo English for example that looks exactly the same um, pretty sure that one of those are going to be the director's comments so I probably uncheck that um, unless you want to listen to that all right, I guess I'll go ahead and post this, so talk to you later.